Mel and Kagan with Contractors and Industrial Supply. We talked about grinding wheels already. We want to continue with the theme of grinding and look at what it looks like in different grinders. Today we're looking at Makita grinders. We have three different grinders up here depending on what job you have going. First off, we'll start off with the four and a half inch grinder. This happens to be the Makita 9564P. This, uh, the P indicating it is a paddle switch on the back side, which gives you full control. One thing you want to notice on these grinders, they all do come with a handle, which here again denotes that it's designed for two hand grinding. So you want to be sure that you're doing that. Another thing you want to be sure of is you're keeping your guards in place. Um, here again, they have the quick attach adjustment on your grinder guards to keep those in place when you're grinding. Here again, to install the wheel, take your flange nut off, install your grinding wheel, spin your flange nut back on, hold the lock, shaft lock button, take your wrench, and tighten your wheel. Here again, you want to be sure when you're doing this, always that your grinder is unplugged. Okay. So now you are ready to go and to grind. One general principle you want to try to keep in mind when you're grinding is you want to hold your grinder at a 15 degree angle to your work surface. So wherever you're grinding at, you want to keep an angle about like this. That's the angle you want to do. That gives you the most aggressive grinding. It's more efficient for your grinder and also optimal performance out of your grinding wheel. Otherwise, if you start dropping, you start dragging your grinder and you don't get the performance out of your uh, grinder or your wheels because your wheels need to get to the right temperature in order for it to break away and give you new grains to grind with. The next one we move to is the 9566 PC. This is a six inch tool. As you can see, the guard on this one's a little bit different. Totally enclosed, designed for cutting. This grinder was primarily designed to cut stuff off or cut the uh, metal in long lengths. Uh, the C here again stands for control, controlled start. What I'd like to do is show you what the difference between those two are. So on this grinder, this is our standard four and a half inch P grinder with the paddle switch. As you can tell, the grinder started up at full RPM. Okay, here again, this is a 10 amp grinder uh, designed for, for your standard grinding. And it has plenty of power for what you would do on light grinding. As you step up to the six inch um, PC, here again, this is what the, the C stands a controlled start. And what this grinder does, it starts general and doesn't give you a, a quick high speed start. As you can tell there, the grinder started off with slow speed and worked up. What that does, that prolongs the gears in your grinder, giving you longer tool life. Uh, next, we'll step up to the uh, seven inch. This is the Makita GA 7000 or 7021. This is a 15 amp tool uh, designed for heavy duty grinding. So that's Makita grinders for grinding any situation you may have.